What's good? This is JVB representing SPD, and that is sportsperdium.com. Hear me out. Could the McCaskey family actually sell the franchise? Could the McCaskey family, let me say it again, sell the Chicago Bears? It took me for surprise when I first heard about this, but Virginia McCaskey and the McCaskey family are talking about this internally. It's crazy as hell to think about it, but my goodness, and this is no disrespect to Virginia McCaskey because I know she wants to win. I know she does, but she's just old as hell, man. And all the McCaskies beneath her, all the younger ones, winning to me is not their number one priority. The McCaskies' number one priority is to make that bank. Why in the hell do you believe Ted Phillips is still with this franchise because he finds ways to create revenue. Don't know a damn thing about football, but he finds ways to make you guys money so you keep them. Regime after regime after regime after regime. Coaches, GMs gone. But there's one constant. The damn team president is still Ted Phillips. That's no good. And yes, with the past NFL draft, we all got a big joy of energy when the Bears traded up to 11 to draft Justin Fields out of Ohio State. Bears fans have something to smile about. Bears fans have something to celebrate about. But at the end of the day, Ryan Pace, Matt Nagy, they're still here. These guys should have been let go at the end of this last season. But here they are again coming back for yet another season. Because what? Because the McCaskies ultimately don't really, really, really want to win. They may say they want to win. Of course they're going to say that. But at the end of the day, they don't really, really want to win. They just want to make money. But I really do hope they put that for sale sign on Soldier Field and they sell the Chicago Bears. Because to me, it's, it's long overdue. This franchise needs an infusion of somebody who gives a damn. And that doesn't mean somebody who's just willing to throw the pocketbook out there and just spend for every top free agent and do all kinds of stupid shit. But somebody who actually has a pulse for football. So whomever it may be, you know, it's been a few names out there. I know I heard Je Jeff Bezos' name out there. You know, I don't know if, who's going to buy the team. I don't know if they're going to sell it. But if they do... First of all, talk about fucking profit. George Hallis buys the franchise for 100 bucks, And granted, it was in the early 1900s. But still, 100 bucks. Now, this franchise is going to sell from upwards to 3.5 to about 3.8, maybe even $4 billion. I don't know if y'all know this, but that's a lot of fucking money. There's so many rich motherfuckers out here they can easily sell the franchise. Chartered franchise, one of the most popular teams in the NFL as far as travel is concerned. And it's also, it's in Chicago. And speaking on that real quick, I would hope if the McCaskies did sell the Bears franchise that they stayed in Chicago. Don't be moving all out to the suburbs, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little selfish, but who cares? But at the end of the day, I want the McCaskey family to make the right move, in my opinion, I believe they should sell the Chicago Bears franchise. I think the McCaskey family, they've done a pretty good job. They've had this franchise for a very long fucking time. But like they say, all good things must come to an end. And that's what I believe it should be with the McCaskey family owning the Chicago Bears. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but y'all can let me know down below. But I'm out. Like the video and share the video. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, take it easy. God bless. Peace.